Hey guys, welcome to another one of our videos. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, he got me again. Well, kind of. I got him and then he was like, he said something and it made me chuckle. Um, welcome to another one of our reviews. I'm the worm. This is the problem. Uh, today we're doing a, another review on an iron we got free of charge. It will not affect our review. It will be an honest review as always. Blah, 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 blah. We got it from uh, Vape Gear. Thank you very much. Kirsty. <laughs> Kirsty and Keith, obviously. But mainly Kirsty. It is always mainly Kirsty, I'm afraid. But um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Keith. <laughs> Thank you, Keith and Kirsty, uh, for sending this down. Um, we bought something new we're going to review at some point, uh, and they chucked this in as well, which is very kind of them. Um, very new product. Very excited to play with it um, after a recent review we did. Um, so today we're going to do. The Igo F. Um, we haven't played with this, we haven't boxed it, haven't unboxed it. Had it for a couple of days, just kind of sat in the packet going, oh, I want to play, but I've decided not to. Um, for and, you guys. And we're going to open it all and everything. And we haven't even really had a look at the thing, to be honest with you. We're going to open it and uh, work out what we're going to do with it and have a vape um, and see how we well, go. Well, hopefully have a vape. Well, yeah, it's always hopeful. We are, well, it's a person who's wicking this, so. Oh, there's no <laughs> need for that. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, it could go either way with these things. Is it whatever? Um, it's Genesis style, basically, isn't it? It's not. It's a dripper. And <laughs> may I remind you who did your dream? Whatever. Um, couple of the nitty gritty bits out of the way. Nineteen ninety nine is the price. Um, looked quite a few places. Seems to be around the same kind of price everywhere you go. Uh, I have seen it more expensive than this for sure. Um, and yeah, quite quite. Eager to open this up, um, same as it was with the um, Igo L, which we did recently, just purely because I love drippers, I do, and this one's got a little tank and everything. So yeah, I don't know how it's going to go. It's the first kind of dripper with a tank I've come across, um, which is a bit weird, but it's made by UD, um, so we're hopefully it, we're hoping, sorry, it's going to be good. Uh, three or four stainless steel. We'll go through the proper nitty gritty when we get down and unbox it. Um, which we are going to do. Are you doing this in mesh or wick? I'm not doing this in mesh. You can honestly go away for that. <laughs> I'm going to basically, we've had a discussion, I had a discussion with Keith as well um, about this uh, sort of tank system and about maybe potentially choking the wicks and so on and so forth. I am going to do this with silica. Um, I'm not entirely sure the intended way of setting this up because I haven't really looked at it too much. Um, but I'm going to see what I think, put some wick in it. If all else fails, there's two holes and a positive and a negative. I'm sure we could dual call some mesh in here. Um, so if this goes horribly wrong, that may be coming. Who knows? But yeah, are we going to go down and do that now? I don't know. Have you finished on everything that we need to talk about? I think so. I think for the nitty gritty bits, for the start of the video anyway. Do you say it's completely stainless steel on that? Rubbish? Yeah, it's all stainless three or four, but we'll do that up in the close up because then you can actually see it. Um, so yeah, guys, I think we're going to write down now on the table. We're going to unbox it all and see how much trouble I can get in rewicking this. <laughs> Basically this is going to be a good laughing fest for us, so... Whatever. <laughs> see right, you guys. Good, good right guys, um, this is the Igo F. So we're going to open this thing uh, and see exactly what we get. That would be the Igo F. <laughs> um, let's see if we can... Yank. I'm going to need that. It's got stuff in it. I need... The box because they do get a pack of um, extras with it, like you do with the uh, Igo L. That is a plinth for your um, Ego battery, so spinner or whatever else. Pretty cool, uh, not going to be used for me, but pretty cool. Um, and then oh, inside, you've got your positive, your negative, and you have two if Worm does his focusing job properly. There we go, two um, holes for your wicks to go down into. Um, and I believe I just unscrew that, and that there, that one is your little well. So one mil well in there, uh, and you've got grub screw on the bottom, similar affair to the uh, AGI when you put the scrub screws in the, in the bottom to stop it being a jenny tank and make it a dripper. So that, like that, is the IGOF. You've got a little bit of branding on there, UG IGOF, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the site now, guys. 14 and a half mil wide across here, uh, and it's 57 mil in length. Now, that does include that drip tip, I'd imagine, probably from the base there and not the 510, um, because that is one piece. So, if you want to use your own drip tip in there, guys, uh, you are out oh. of luck, basically. The worm's here. Um, 
I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do to re-whip this to be honest with you, I'm looking at it now and I still have absolutely no idea. I've got some silica, I haven't actually measured that, it's just a random length I cut, I've figured I probably need around that much and I've got more than enough camp fog to wrap this thing just because again, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Um, them holes do look quite small, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm looking at this now and them holes are looking quite small compared to that silica so I have no idea what I'm going to do but I'm just going to do it anyway. So. Actually, no, I'm not as really poor. I didn't have a look at this, did I? <laughs> Honestly. Sorry, guys. Um, this is your bag of goodies. Similar affair, I think, to the IGOL. I'm just going to use that sniff and make it a bit easier. Let's pour this out and see what we get. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We have a oh, a spare grub screw for the uh, bottom, which I said in the IGOL video, any spare screws are always going to be in handy for me. No spare screw for the post, though, in this one. A little bit of camphor or nichrome whatever it is, uh, it is lower resistance than my 32 gauge. So it's not, it's not as high resistance because it's smaller. Um, a wee bit of silica. Um, we've got an Allen key there from Gibson for the graphic at the bottom, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive about that. That is your insulator, which could be for either the bottom post, but more than likely I imagine it's for your positive. A couple of spare O-rings, which is always good because they do wear if you're a bit abusive with them. Uh, and that's your extras, so not bad, not bad a bit of extras there. Um, as far as this goes, uh, let's just undo these posts. Obviously, your centre is your positive, your outside is your negative. <sighs> I still have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> Honestly, I've, I really don't. I think what I'm going to do is something like that. I'm going to do a triple. I'm going to do it on this side. And I think, oh, no, I don't really want to do that either, do I? I'm probably going to do it something like that. Horseshoe like that. Sorry, guys, I know this probably seems like I'm completely ignoring you. I'm not. Unless, would I get away with doing that? Um, Does your silica even fit down those holes? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Shall I see? I might do that. I might do four pieces like that and then come round and one down there. Sorry, guys, I'm just looking at this. I, If you are, if you have got one of these and you're not sure what you're going to do with it, um, I would not wrap your coil this side. Oh, God, you can't even see. Would not wrap it this side just because you stick a coil up there, you've got no room really to play with that bit of silica. If you could get it down there, I'd imagine it's probably going to work a bit better because it's less distance to travel. But realistically, I think you're going to have to do it that side. Hmm, I think I think I'm going to, I think I'm just going to play it safe and do two bits. I think I'm going to do that one horseshoe, two bits of wick. And I'm just going to wrap a coil on it and see what happens, to be honest with you. Da, da, da. Hopefully many funny things, guys. I'd imagine not so much now, but later on when it comes to putting that silica through them bloody holes. Yes. I can see stuff going wrong. Um, but only time will tell. Now, I'm going to wrap this a little bit more than I usually would. Purely because um, after tinkering about with the arms the other day in the EVOD, I don't want to end up with a seriously low resistance coil that I can't run on the Vamo. Basically, How many wraps have you done? Uh, I have done one, two, three, four, five, six wraps on that. Six wraps. Six wraps. They're quite sloppy. So I'll play with that a little bit now, I suppose. Just get your screwdriver. If you haven't got a screwdriver, guys. Should I have a little wager on this? I reckon that's where we're going to hit around that 2.2 ohms. You reckon as high as that? Yeah, I reckon so. I don't reckon I'm going to get that. I reckon we're going to get about 1.8. 1.8. Well, yeah. There we go. Um, it's probably gonna be bang on in the middle and go too. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna wrap this canthal round. Sorry, I know this is really poor, guys. If Worm was doing his autofocus job, you might be able to see that a bit better. It's perfectly focused. Well, I can't see the screen. You can, though. <laughs> but I thought I'd insult you just in case, because you do deserve it. Now, once you've got your wrap around there, put your. Uh, Put your screwdriver in, give it a nice little tight, and like I said in the IGO video, beware that this is going to try and pull your, your coil in. So just make sure you allow a little bit for that. Um, I'm not unsatisfied with that. I've just got to tinker with those coils a bit. Bit of tension on the wire, give it a wee spin. Oh, God. There's always one in there. There's always one that doesn't, there we go. doesn't want to break. Um, now, those of you watching this may think that was an incredibly quick wick. It is, but I'd imagine the lengthy part is coming when it comes to the, uh, ooh, <laughs> it's been a while. Um, 
Well, that's what it looks like on the Bravari. Not horrible, actually. It lines up to be quite nice with it. Uh, oh, so I've got to be very quick. <laughs> Atomizer Ohms, upside down to you. Is that 1.6? That's 1.6. 1.6. I win the prize. <laughs> um, right, there we go. So 1.6 ohms. Now, I should really make sure that that's tightened on there. I really have no idea how I'm going to do it. <laughs> I still don't. See, realistically, I want that wick to be just a touch shorter than that body. So around about there uh, for that first one and for the second one, I'm actually... I'm not far off. I think I'm only going to want to take about four or five mil for that. So I'm just going to snip that one down a touch. Oh, that's not going to go well for me sticking it through the hole. I right, take a bit more than I want it off, but it is what it is. Now, <laughs> <laughs> here comes the fun bit. Um, hmm. I can't imagine. Nah, this is just going to be a pain in my ass. I can tell already. Da -da 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 -da. Just to confirm. To the worm, do you know how to crop videos? Because this may be a while. <laughs> uh, yes, I do. That is lucky, guys. If this now goes doom doom back to us, it's because we had to crop it. Oh, I am sorry. Um, <laughs> am I on camera again? Yeah, you're on camera. You're bang in the middle again. Good, good. Right. I'm just turn that focus down a bit. There we go. I wonder if I can just ram this in. <laughs> Give it a so ram. You know I think it might be easier. If I unscrew the bottom, let's put that over there so I can actually see what's going on under here. It is very tight, this. And that is not what she said. Um, have you got any juice over there, mate? A bit of juice. I was just thinking of doing, putting that up through the bottom. Put it through and just, just go. chuck us some juice, mate. Unnamed bottle. I mean, bottle of juice. Could have opened the unknown bottle of juice, but hey ho. Um, I'm just going to try juicing up this wick very slightly on the end, guys, because sometimes it makes it easier to fit things through narrow holes. Uh, chances of it working here for me? Well, it's me, isn't it? Right. So, yeah, very slim. But you never know. I have got tweezers to hand, unfortunately. And I imagine they're probably too big to fit down there. Of course they are. Oh, my jeebus. It's not going to plan, guys. It really isn't. This is exactly what I thought would happen, though, if I'm honest with you. This thing has got incredibly small. Can I just try this? If we're going to try it, let's try it off camera. There's no point doing it on camera. Yeah, let's do it on camera. No, let's not do it on camera. <laughs> if we're going to try it, let's just do it off camera. Um, I can't see it, to be honest with you. Oh, hold on, hold on. You got it? I may have just got that one. I mean... That being said, that is just one of them. <laughs> There's another one to go, guys. There is one more to go. That is the, t the tatty end. Uh, yeah, it is the tatty oh, bollocks. Right, hold on. We are getting there, guys. This is an incredibly long reweeping video, I'd imagine, by the end of this. But we are through. Right, there's one. <sighs> one down and one to go. Now... I really can't see how you're going to make that any easier, but I am going to juice this one straight away because it means that I can pull it a bit tighter, a bit quicker, and hopefully get it down that hole straight away with minimal fuss. And again, chances of that happening, well, I'm saying this one I've got a bit more room to play with. It's still going to ruin me, but I have got a bit more room to play with it. God. Again, as I said in the Evo video, if you're one of them people that are laughing right now, I don't find you very funny. I not at all. I agree with you totally. Uh, I'm only not laughing out loud because I'm in punching distance. <laughs> <laughs> I said he knows it as well, especially <laughs> on camera. So if you do hear, <laughs> and you know that he's a, uh, he's probably on the floor. Ugh. Make sure you've got a very very small screwdriver to hand. Would be my piece of advice. Or some sort of needle for this. Those, I mean, to be honest with you, those guys who watch our videos regularly have bought a Zeus, so you must have one. <laughs> well, yeah, if you have bought a Zeus, so you probably have got one of these little gold screwdrivers um, if you are thinking of buying this. But you'll know that when it comes to drippers in particular, I don't tend to struggle too much. But this, this uh, is a dripper tank slash thingy. Yeah, silica, to be honest with you, silica in any of these Jenny ish 
esque style tanks. Um, can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> that is what happens when you force it through. It snaps in, and when you think, yes, I've got it through and put it, it comes out in your head. Um, but anything like this silica in these small holes in this style of tank is usually going to result in swear words and stuff. Um, to be honest, I'm quite surprised this person's kept his cool this long. Generally, he would have thrown it down by now. I'm on camera. <laughs> it's just happened again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Stop it laughing at me, you bastard. <laughs> Come on, man. It's funny shit. It's not fucking funny, honestly. Why did I fucking think... Why did I say I was going to do this, honestly? Because you get all... What's the word? Anxious and ready and overly big headed and then you go to do it it's and it just all breaks <laughs> this has never happened like this before not not quite this bad but not on camera anyway no never right. on camera right come on you bloody thing stop breaking <laughs> <laughs> oh god well I mean even if I do manage to poke the rest of this week through which that's pretty much all right. By the looks of it, it's unlikely. I mean, I've got some through, but it's just not protruding past that. But you can just see a hair there. But every time I try and grip on it, because I've only got a few strands of it through, it's um, it's not going spectacularly well for me, and it breaks. I just want to make sure that all I'm to be honest, you know, all I'm worried about is making sure that that's not being choked. I can live with. If I don't know if you can uh, do do your zoom thing, mate. Oh, you focus thing. Don't know if you can just about see that. You've got one protruding and one's kind of in there ish. I think. That's probably about the best I'm going to get for now. Um, so I think what I might do is just slap the tank. Sorry, guys. I think, I think what I might do is just slap the tank on it, fill her up, and see how we get on um, from there. So you might as well show him up on here, mate. I am going to show him up on here because it's going to be blooming tiny. Um, so basically, guys, I'm going to need a new nose bottle, mate. Chuck us one of them new. Chuck us one of new cherry or something. Under it, force, mate. Basically, to fill this, what you do is you get your Allen key. Oh God, don't drop it like I just have. And get your allen key put it in there keep spinning until your grub screw uh, does decide to make an appearance which probably something else that's going to go wrong for me now ah, why are you doing this to me god <laughs> if you're thinking of buying an argo here i'd like to say i recommend it um if you're a tinkerer anyway so far because I'm just gonna have to undo this. I'm just gonna undo it. I'm just gonna undo it. No, I'm not gonna undo it. I'm just gonna undo it and make sure that I can actually see the blooming thing. Sorry, guys, if I go off camera here. It's completely out of focus. It may well be completely out of focus. Um, if you were doing your job, that would be the case. I need a pay rise. Good. <laughs> I'm going to pass this to the worm before I throw it, guys. This is the uh, the famous short temper that we're starting to encounter <laughs> after 15 minutes. Um, you got it in? I know we're completely off camera, guys, and all you're doing is seeing a pair of hands talking at a minute. But this is what is going to happen to you. We've said this before when we do these. You're going to open it up, and this is the kind of thing that's going to happen to you um, when you go to use something that you are unfamiliar with, unsure of, and just in general haven't used before. Um, no luck. This Allen key is maybe too big for this grub screw. Allen key is too big for the grub screw. <laughs> yeah. Shame on you, UD. Um, what about the other end? So it wasn't just me being a spanner then, no? I think so. Unless it's okay. like Do you know what we'll do? For thing. the purposes of this, we'll have a look at this and we'll, we'll follow up with this in the... Um, it may just be in there so tight that it's uh, been like it may in be, there. It may be really tight in there, but basically I'm going to fill this up here. Okay, so I'm just going to plonk mm, that much in now. All right, drop this in. This is where juice goes everywhere, no doubt. Um, nope, we're okay. There we go. Tighten that up. I am going to... Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to slip up the end, but I'm going to adjust them floors before I do anything else, because obviously we're going to be it around. It's moved. So, bad times, bad times, guys. How to bodge it? Well, it's, well, not, throw it's not so much <laughs> bodge, but sometimes, I mean, to be honest, like we said, we haven't actually touched this device at all. If we played around with it, we'd probably be able to do a little bit more than we have. But this is the initial unboxing. There will be follow ups, as always. Um, and we're going to prime this really quickly. All right, I don't, I don't intend on drowning this. 
because it's got a tank it should should be in a bit of word wick oh god wick up so I'm gonna well I'm gonna line our coil up no I'm not I'm gonna test it I'm gonna test fire this one just to make sure after all that slap and tickle that's just happened with it that it does still want to work 1.5 ohms now and okay there is vapor that's good so what we're going to do now guys is slip the body on that is kind of how you re-wick <laughs> and I go F I am so sorry um, to be honest with you I don't think it, I mean I don't think it would have mattered who done that re-wick then problems would have happened either way um, they will happen to you if you buy it the silica in the hole it's probably always going to be an issue unless you're using a thinner silica, maybe one mil. Um, hmm, we shall see. But we're going to go up and have a little vape on this, guys, and see exactly what we're dealing with. Uh, and then maybe go straight back to re it. I'm not sure. So, yeah, guys, we'll see you in a sec. Hey, guys, welcome back up. As you can see, we've top changed again. Uh, we've had changed. technical issues. Well, Mr. Brown did anyway. Uh, well, <laughs> barring the ones that you saw in the video, which are quite <laughs> obvious. Um, it didn't work. Uh, the way the setup. Not the device, just the way we, uh, Mr. Brown set it up at that time. Yeah, I mean, we had, well, I had a tinker um, on the camera, as you see, uh, painstakingly. Um, tried to give it a go. It was fine for a couple of minutes, then dry hitting, dry hitting, dry hitting, dry hitting. Um, no feed at all. So we don't know what the score is in terms of the holes. I'm not, I'm not going exactly much for you guys, but they're no more than two mil at best, I'd say. I'd say about a mil and a half. Mil off half a two mil. This is only, I guess, we're talking half a mil by iron. Could be wrong. Um, we've. I'm not entirely sure how this is intended to be used. All right, I, I do want to point out now. We did mention maybe dropping some mesh in now, dual coil in it. That's obviously this isn't designed to do that. This is a dripping atomizer. It's designed to be used with silica. Um, they provide you silica for that exact reason. Not that I use theirs, but still, it's there. Um, we're not entirely sure what you're supposed to do to set it up. I, I then took the wick out and redid it all slightly differently. Um, it was better, but still not what I wanted. Um, wasn't performing anywhere near my expectations, and I did have a little strop in there. I'm, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. All right, if I don't tell you now, he's going to at some point anyway. So I did have a strop. I did take the coil out. I did say fuck this fucking thing. I'm fucking <laughs> done with it. Fuck it. Fuck everything. All right, I'm not gonna lie. That's just how I did it. And then he refused to record it. And the then night. I refused. <laughs> I basically turned and said, I am done for the night. I am not doing any more recording. Um, uh, and, I, and I had a proper actress bitch fit. Um, to be honest, this, it was two days ago, that re-wicking. Um, I, I didn't touch it at all yesterday. Come back it today with clear eyes and a fresh mind. Give it a go. And have found a way to make this work. Um, I am going to quite humbly admit, I poached this idea of Todd. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I did actually talk to Todd. I was speaking to him last night uh, for a bit. Um, and we was having a little discussion about this. We don't have a clue what you're meant to do with this in terms of, I know it's, it specifies it has a tank. It doesn't specify that those holes in that tank are there to drop wick through. All right. I just want to bear that in mind. And after sort of speaking to Todd, I'd already watched this video. I kind of thought, being Todd, he's probably right. So what I've done, if you've seen this video, is set it up the same way he did. Um, if not, we're going to show you that now anyway. So what I'm going to get is our focus finger out. Basically, what we've got, if you can just about, yeah. there we go. Right, what you've got there is a similar setup to the DDA. There's nothing in those holes. All right. All it is, is a double horseshoe piece of wick with two um, strands coming out. I then pop the body on, line up the air hole, plonk it down. All right. I use a needle nose to fill that little tank at the bottom. Now, I've been vaping it as a standard dripper. Forget it's got a tank. Then, when you get dry hip, I'll do that for a second, flip it back over, and it feeds the wick. Now, for all intents and purposes, and for all that we know, this is what this is designed to do. I don't know if that's the way of the case or not. All I will say is that this is the way that we found it works best so far. The only way we found yeah, it actually yeah. feeds that wick. Mm. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I haven't tried to re-wick it the other way since. Um, this is working fine. To be honest, guys, you, you saw how much faster it was trying to get that wick through those holes without breaking them again and again when you got re-wick. And depending on how often you got re-wick, like uh, rebuildables, 
Mr. Proton does them every like two or three days. For him to do that every two or three days, he would lose his mind. <laughs> it, would be, it would be an absolute nightmare. So bear that in mind when you come to buying this. I mean, now that this has got a tank with no wicks in there, obviously you've got two exposed holes. So if you leave this half full, full at all, and stick it on its side, I'd imagine eventually there's going to be some leaking issues, which is obviously not ideal. No. It's not ideal. But the way that I've been using this, well, today, is kind of indoors, plotting around, having a puff, and you've got a little feeding system. It's almost as if you've got a Zeus and a squonking mechanism. For those who don't know what a squonker is, uh, it's usually some kind of box mod with a bottle. And it feeds juice up through the 510 into the bottom of your drip. But a Zeus is capable of doing this, whether you guys who've got one know it is or not, it is capable of doing that. Um, and it's a very effective way of dripping. You get all of that flavour with almost the benefit of a tank. And this is kind of giving you that. Without having to squonk. Without having to squonk. Um, I'm going to look one flap a little bit because I've been chatting basically away now for five minutes. <laughs> he hasn't really said anything whilst I have a quick break, and we'll give you some opinions based on the device. To be honest, guys, I was just kind of letting him because he's kind of been playing around and he did have his little bitch fit, so I just wanted him to let him finish off his little review of it personally. But um, the way I look at it is I think this is going to be the best way to use it because you're getting all the usage and flavour of a dripper from that little pool of tank where you like, like we say, you can be going around the house, doing your housework, doing whatever you're doing. You literally so you know, you can puff for like five minutes, little tip for two seconds, puff away again. You haven't got to get that juice bottle out, drip away, make sure you ain't over flooding it. Because let's be honest, if you tip it that way, put too much juice in it, tip it back, the juice is going to fall back down into that pool. You're done. You, you, you're never going to have those flooding with the air hole issues that, that, is that you do in other drippers. Sorry, I know I'm interrupting you. That's a good way of doing this. I, mean, I, I put one out, but what, like when you said, you put it back down, it goes, but it's basically the way of perfectly saturating your wick because anything that's not meant to be on there, not willing to be held by the wick, will drop back through. So, it's pretty good. I don't know. This could be meant to do that, I don't know. That's, that's the way I'm looking at this device. It's basically a dripper with a tank feeding system, but it's like a manual tank feeding system, if that makes sense. You've physically got to turn the device upside down, but turning the device upside down takes two seconds, getting your juice bottle out, dripping, making sure you ain't over flooding, going onto your 510 connection, and you've got to clean out your battery. It's a lot of effort. This way, none of that, but uh, you're done. You see, it is... Um, it just seems like a kind of modified dripper. Well, it is a modified dripper, but it just seems like I don't think it's meant to be used with silica down the holes. That's the way I look at it. And the, the, the issues that we have with silica and like this dripper and like Genesis style tanks, which obviously like fit basically the technically the same sort of design. Um, yeah, I, I just see it working better this way as an all time use. I don't think it's meant to be. A run around town dripper. But a lot of drippers aren't designed to be that way. No. Realistically, drippers, predominantly most people do. We drip doors, outside. But we, we want the flavour. That's the reason we do it. We, we, we sacrifice a little bit of dripping time for the flavour that we want. For this, I can see this being like a perfect indoor dripping vape. I mean, to be honest, I mean, most of my mods generally stand up on their bottoms when I'm not using them. I've got my Pavari next to me and my Avamo. They're both standing on their ends. Unless they're in their case, they're not laying down. So. Yeah, I mean, if you've got mod holder as well with all your mods in, they're always going to be standing up anyway, so no problems. I'm going to go over a few of my sort of thoughts on this and what I think of it in general, to be honest with you. 1999, um, you've got your ego comb threaded uh, sleeve on now. Uh, it's not something I'm going to use. To be honest with you, I use a memo and stuff like that. I like a bit of every voltage. I don't think a spinner will suffice for this kind of setup for me. Um, as what it is, though, for a little dripper, I like the body. Okay, I'm sure I just got button quickly. Um, this tip is getting very hot. Yeah, I was about to say, I was Bear literally, that in literally mind. saying that. <laughs> um, the, the body can get hot. It is hot now. Um, it's not particularly high risk core. It's like 1.7. I'm running at like 4.8 volts. I expect the body to get hot. What am I running at? 2.2 volts, actually. I'm lying. It was 4.9. It was um, 1.7, but it's changed, obviously. Um, but the build quality is pretty good, actually. We have no leaking from that bottom grub screw. And to be honest with you, we're not even using that to fit it. You see in the video that where I was trying to re-wick it, the Allen key problem, we haven't got to fire that, filed off a little, a little bit of rough for me, and it now works absolutely fine. Um, not something you should necessarily have to do, but there's it's mass quick producing fix. loads and loads and loads of Allen keys come on. It's, it's something that we should all be now and expected to do. Um, but no no leaking from the bottom of that grub screw, which the, the V1 AGI had, and it was a very similar setup. Um, the screw threads are lovely and smooth. Uh, the O-rings are... A kind of perfect level of type for me. You can hang stuff off it, shake it around fractionally, but you shake it around too much and you're getting a drop. 
Alright, it's not, you haven't got to have sort of the jaws of life to undo it, but it will hold on there just fine, no leaking whatsoever. <coughs> I like the fact the drip tip's included, and it's actually quite a comfortable drip tip to, to use for a perfectly syringable drip tip. That's that out of the way for me. Um, the price, I think, is is um, pretty good. I think it could be uh, slightly better, but again, I've looked at several sites. Um, vape gear is basically just under everyone else. All right, so get on it if this is what you want. Um, flavor off of this, 9.5 for me. I think it is nice. Should we do our five point hit list actually? Let's do our five point hit list. Let's do our five, Let's point, do our five point hit list. Looks. I actually quite like it. Um, ignore the fact my, my van was brass. I'm going to give that a nine for looks. I actually quite like that look. For me, if, it, if you could put your own drip tip on there so I could change the top, it would be a 10 all day long. But that drip tip, eh, well, the whole the body, the body. Um, it's an eight. But you never know, there may be a version 2 coming where they lock that up and put a 510 drip tip connector in there. Um, usability. Well, um, <laughs> it depends on how what you're going to do with it. If you're going to use it like this, it's as simple to wick as an I go well. And you've got a tank feeder for me, or manual tank feed, so nine. If you're going to try and get them wicked through that hole, <laughs> five. That's that's kind of where I'm sitting there. I think he's being overly generous there. Uh, if you're using it like Mr. Prone is, like a manual feeder, it's a nine. It really is. It's no no harder to wicker than any other kind of dripper, really. Um, if you're going to be putting wick through there, it's a two. It really I would say that. Come on now, man. We've given things like the Argo twos. This is nothing like an Argo. Oh, bear in mind that you've got like a well in there that you've got to get in there and pull it through. Yeah, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying it's easy. I don't think it's a two. I think oh, I'll give it a it's three. a bit more than a two. But it's a three. There you go. That's Worm's opinion. Um, maintenance. Ten. ten. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think you can argue with ten. It's literally pop the body off, unscrew it, wash everything, rewick it. If you do it, the this only thing you've got to be aware of is that little rub screw. If you take it out and wash it, which you don't need to, you really don't. And obviously, don't sleep on this side if you've got a tank full. <coughs> it's not hard to maintain this little device. It's actually fairly good. Flavour and vapour. Um, for me, <coughs> vapours are uh, pretty good. I'm going to give vapour a <coughs> 9.5. With a better core set up in there, it would be a 10. This was vaping slightly better earlier. I think I'm able to use that core a fraction. Um, so it can be a 10, no worries. But this right now for me is a 9.5. Flavour, uh, I'm going to give this a nine and a half as well. I, I think with the Zeus, it was not as much vapour, but better flavour than the IGOL. The IGOL was better vapour, but not as much flavour and far too much throat hit at, at times with certain juices. This kind of sits in the middle. You get a better flavour than the IGO, uh, but slightly less vapour, um, and you're kind of almost touching the Zeus on flavour, but you, the vapour's nearly the same. It's kind of like it's a Zeus ish kind of thing, but a different mm. take on it. Um, I, th I do think it's good. I'm going to. I prefer this to the Igo well, if I'm honest with you. I prefer the look of the Igo well. I prefer the setup of the Igo well, but that tank system does make dripping quite nice um, and easy, uh, and that I do quite like. So I do prefer this to the Igo well. I think the flavour's better off of it, and the throat here isn't quite as drastic. Uh, flavour on flavour for me, I mean, I didn't use this when he first re whipped it, so I had a quick time on it, and that was it. And um, yeah, uh, flavour and vapour, they're both sitting around about nines for me. 9.5s when, when they're actually perfect. I mean, I don't think they're quite as good as some of our other devices, but getting yeah, missiles all over the battery. No, I've killed the battery. <laughs> <laughs> He's killed the batteries. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, it's about 9, 9.5, depending on what juice you've got in there and uh, if your core is uh, running. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's that's really dependent on every drip. You've yeah. got to make sure. You, I mean, it's only ever going to be as good as the core you put in. It's coil, um, still bedding, to be honest, it's only been there. I think we had about an hour of using it. Yeah. So give it a couple of hours, it was going to be sitting in there, good and proper, and it'd be lovely, lovely stuff. Um, just bear that in mind. Uh, are you finished with your flavour paper? I think so. I mean, um, I think so. Um, Should we compare this to something? Just so they got a reference from me? I mean, yeah, come on. I mean, I think the closest. Comp no, it's not. It's not come on now. Get the Zeus out. He's, he's pulled up the Baron. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, it's still revealable. It is, but. Right, compared to the Zeus, it's slightly better. Slightly. Very, very slightly, but they're two completely different type of vapes. Compared to my Baron, slightly worse. But this is very close to this. So that small gap that these have got, 
it's just wedged its way in between these two. So it's not a bad dripper. I don't think it's the best out there, but for its price, it's amazing. Um, I don't want to turn on with this battery. Have you given me a flat battery? No, it's pretty charged. Then I'm having issues with the battery or your battery. Um, yeah, this is about your simple. Oh, okay, oh, battery. Yeah, dodgy battery. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, okay. Um, over. Oh no, sorry. In comparison to the Zeus. Yes, it's one mode. Okay. I'm charging. In comparison to the Zeus. Um, oh, it's, it's actually quite a tricky comparison because the flavour I'd say at, so far is equal to. It could be better than the Zeus. I think once it's better. But again. we've played with the Zeus a lot more. And we know the Zeus is true butter zone, whereas this has had a cut of half decent cores in. So I think the flavour of this is probably going to be better than the Zeus. Just needs to work a little bit more for it. Um, the vapour is very similar. The two different takes. This has got an adjustable air hole, which is cool because you can play around with sort of your throat hit and your vapour, depending on where you put that air hole. This is definitely easier to re-wick than the Zeus if you re-wick it like I have and not as the whole feeding from the tank kind of thing. The Zeus is quite a bit cheaper though. The Zeus is nearly half the price. So I want to take into account, I do prefer this. I'm not going to lie. This is like double that's, the price. That's twice, yeah, yeah, it is twice the price. So, so, I mean, if you're looking at it, it's kind of like that on the scale. Build quality on the zoo, uh, on this is definitely better than the Zeus though. Much better. No two ways about Much it. But you ain't got that adjustable centre pin to deal with. That is just going to connect to your device every and time. And you get that kind of threading with this as well. Yes. So I want to bear that in mind. Okay, I've made prices isn't as relevant maybe as I thought it was. Um, for me, I'll take this over to Zeus. Definitely. I'll take this over to Zeus. Um, but it is close. If you've got a Zeus, guys, don't feel like you have to run out and buy one of these because there aren't massive differences between them. It's just like I prefer this, okay? Overall, for me, factor in price, everything else involved, nine, I think. I think I'm going to give it a nine because I won't use it as a feeding tank system. I'll use it as a tank system. Um, and manual like, tank system. Yeah, manual tank system. And like that, for me, that's a nine all day long, quite happily. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I mean. Mm. Sorry, guys, try that. That's just a breath. I mean, before we were trying it on a dead battery, that's partly the reason. That's working banging. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make sure you've got full batteries, guys. The flavor of vapor is now a 9.5 to 10. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. So it wasn't the call dropping off. It was uh, the batteries. Incredibly sloppy work from us today, guys. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. The vapors were much, much better. And the flavors coming through. Lovely stuff. Okay. No two ways about it. I'll take that over the Zeus all day long, uh, as I've said. But that makes it. That just reaffirms it. Um, it is fractionally better than the Zeus than we thought it was, or more than we thought it was because of that difference that we've just come across there. <laughs> that in mind the fact that you can manually feed it if you set up like we have, and you've got the um, the ease of setup because that Zeus. Do you change your overall? Yeah. yeah, my overall is going to a ten. My the, the iGo was a ten. I know the iGo is about nine pound cheaper, but the iGo is very big, as you pointed out. It looks silly on smaller devices. Whereas this sixteen and a half mil, it looks banging on your skin. Plus, you get your ego uh, thread off with it. So it's it's tough Even if you don't use it with this, you can use that with anything you like. Do you know what I mean? It just it blends this seamlessly. It does look really, really good. So yeah, my overall flatness now ten. Um, judging by the fact that we're a pair of idiots and don't <laughs> put charge batteries in our mods. Um, yeah, yeah. My, my, my I want to give this like kind of two marks one of what it is now and one more if it was slightly changed would be different um for now it's a nine as it is it is a nine uh if i could put my own drip tip in there because i don't like the look of that at all and you know i like my looks it'd be a 10. it would in terms of performance though take the drip tip out of the equation performance compared to the zeus it's much better than zeus <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid question is that? Well, I just want to, the thing is, if people out there, this now with a full battery, it's comparable to this. People out there are watching this, and they're going to want to know this. That's what I'm saying. I mean, the like, that day, is now like this is just still slightly better than that, but this is now like over here. There you go. I mean, so friend of mine, the Zeus is his, and usually you get all shirty when I compare no, these devices. This is to close. One. This like literally touching it. The um, the Igo F is definitely better than the Igo L. Sorry, guys, if you just bought an Igo L, but. <laughs> You can dual cord the Igo a lot, e lot easier than you can dual cord this. Um, and oh, it, you're going to have a pain in the ass trying to dual cord this. But it will look a lot better on your bamboos and stuff. Whereas oh, this, you could <laughs> this you could take out and about. All right, so I mean, there you go. Difference a full battery can make. Um, I'm actually really glad it ran out then, because otherwise I'd have kept persisting, and it would have been that, that at the end of the review. Yeah, definitely recommend this, guys. If you're if you're looking at this, I know a few of our guys who regularly follow us, especially the guys who've been on Facebook, uh, Tom in particular, and mate. Um, I know you posted a link on these up there. Went, oh, look, very exciting. And um, literally 20 is. minutes beforehand, um, 
got an email from Keith and Kirsty saying, would you like to try one of these out for us? And we was like, um, yes, we would, but didn't want to divulge too, divulge too much information on the Facebook group. Um, Suspense and Quickly stuff. before we go, I do want to say a massive thank you to Kirsty. Love you, babe. And <laughs> Keith. Love you. One more, one more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did get a letter from her and I have four kisses. So she's now babe. <laughs> yeah, but I, mean, I do want to point out, though, we did some as Kirsty did take the time to do all of those. <laughs> Look at that. Um, so obviously taking notes. No, a massive, massive thank you to Keith and Kirsty. Lovely, lovely people. Got a lot of time for those as well. Um, and it yeah, just it seems to be genuinely good. <laughs> yeah, good guys. Uh, and they've um, they've got a lot of nice products. They have indeed. Uh, but yeah, definitely recommend it for the price. Definitely. If you're looking for another dripper, then definitely recommend it. Now I'm going to say this. Whilst mentioning something else, I did see some information the other day on something I believe was called either the IGO D or the IGO W. Don't w. quote me on either of the W. W. Okay, it's similar to the triad. It's like going to be a dual coiled um, IGO device, UD device uh, made to be dual coiled. I mean, I did say it's the worm. I see three posts. That to me doesn't say dual call. That screams quad me. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's just me. I'm abnormal as uh, some of you would have worked out but we're definitely recommending this guys personally the iGo dual call thing I oh, can't see it performing as well as this to be honest with you it's performing absolutely fantastically now um, it obviously wasn't my coil it was the battery <laughs> and in mind, we are idiots um, so yeah we don't claim to be anything more than a pair of plums so there you go. Um, yeah I think we uh, we're just about wrapped up now aren't we I mm. think we're just going to say one massive thank you for watching yeah, and uh, definitely. thank you again Kirsty and Keith of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was for you, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, God. Right. Okay, guys. This is the end of this. Now we wrap it off for bloody ages. Um, hopefully you found this helpful. My hair has gone atrocious. I have been Mr. Pros on there. <laughs> this has been the world. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Yeah, we'll see you soon, guys. We'll you soon. Oh, quick note. Twitter and Facebook down there if you want to follow. And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you soon, guys.